Hey guys, Jimmy here and welcome back to R Factor 2 for another video. Yesterday I got back from a long weekend at WEC Silverstone. It was a really fun event, I met loads of really cool people, had a great time. There's actually a vlog as well if you're interested in seeing that and I'd really recommend going if maybe you're on the fence about doing so. One of the things that stood out most of the weekend didn't actually come from the WEC series, it actually came from the World Series, formerly known as Formula Renault. The noise these things made when they went past the stands was more than loud, it was piercing. You felt it, you felt the noise, you didn't just hear it. And you know me, I'm a bit of an audiophile, so I really, really loved hearing those things go past. So I thought, why not do it in the sim? So here we are in that Silverstone, we're going to be doing a 10 lap race against the AI. Now I've done a little bit of testing off screen to try and get used to the car and how that AI behave. And the AI around here are absolutely fantastic. There are some times where I feel like I'm actually racing real people, they're that good. Makes a great racing and hopefully good viewing for you guys. On the grid then, in our Formula Renault 3.5, you can just about see the lights on the gantry there. Three lights, four, five, wait for him to go out and away we go. Lots of wolves been there, not quite a good getaway, but it's sounding good anyway. Down to T1 now for the first time. Everyone vying for the same piece of tarmac, so we've got to be nice and careful through here. Car on our inside. A break heavily down for T3. Someone gets punted off to the left there. It's good for us at least. One more position. This is a sprint race after all, so we've got to be as aggressive as possible to make our way up the field. Really tight there. Actually, contact of the nine into first gear. Where I really don't want to be in car on our outside now for Aintree. Comes across. There you go. After P12 there. After the first couple of corners. Very nice there from T70 on the grid. Dumping the slipstream now, going down the Brooklands. Not quite enough speed there to, to get past. It breaks and tires. Very cold as demonstrated there. If I just grab a little bit of the kerb and it throws the car I feel they're nice and tight on the inside waiting for the car in front to get on with it 14 on the sorry 11 on the outside there not quite enough grunt to get past there now coming down the cops for the first time don't like being this close to cops but we'll have a look anyway I'm gonna just get back in line actually go down to fourth gear through here so much dirt yeah the tire's not quite up to temperature yet no grip through there in the race if you get it just right you can get through there with a, a blend in sixth but uh, I doubt we're gonna have that much uh, clean air during this race down to chapel very bumpy through there just about managing to keep the car in one piece you can see how much i'm struggling to get on the throttle through there but we're okay a big sort of wrench of a steering wheel there to bring it back yellow flag behind us and okay, now the stow fourth gear down the third gear actually still again everything cold at this point now down the veil for the first time again another good overtaking spot if you're close we are not i'm just going to follow through down the second gear Almost nibble that uh, sausage curb on the inside there. Ah, a little bit tardy out there, but one lap completed at Silverstone. Nine to go then. We're up to P12. Not a bad start for us. No more positions gained after the start there, but it will do. Flat there for Abbey already. That's nice. I didn't expect it to be that already. I guess we're not quite close enough to get much of the dirt. Yeah. Have a look there into the braking zone, but the guy comes across actually during the braking zone, which is a bit scary. And they go for the Toyota on Porsche move. Oh, it works. Thank you very much. Up to P11. Gonna make sure that door is well and truly closed when you go through there. Or someone like me is going to try and go through it. Up to P11 then. Down the National Straight. Bit of a bubble behind and in front of us. So I haven't got to worry too much about Brooklyn's. So just try and get the line right. Aim for that marker there. Into second. Just trying to keep it as tight as possible. And then square it off. Run it right to the outside there. Use all the runoff and a little bit more. That was nice. We gained all the guys in front who are fighting right now. Two by two going to cops. Never works. Let's see what they do, shall we? I'm going to go to fifth gear. Fourth gear even there. Just try and get a better runoff there. But they seem to get through okay. That's not too bad. Guy behind is now catching us. The 11. He's back on our tails again. Through Max and Beckett's. Keep it flat. Keep it flat. Oh, I have to get off the front a little bit. Just not run into the guy in front. I had to break there. Whilst under, under load. That was a bit scary. I didn't like that. 11 now going to the outside. Is he going to make that stick around me? No, he isn't good. That would have been very embarrassing there. Sort of took advantage there of me having to slow up a little bit. We're okay, still in P11. Through Stowe. Going front a bit slow there on the entry. Not quite close enough for a move into Vale. He's going to go defensive anyway. Second gear. Oh, guy behind had a big dive there. Lucky that he didn't actually go for it because I didn't see him right to the last moment. That would have been too late. We would have been spun. That would have been our competitive race over. Now watch through here now, no one near going to be flat through here because of just the dirty air, I have to big lift through there now. But uh, yeah, and as you can see the rear flap system aka DRS has been enabled. 
activation point is a little bit strange around here but uh i'll show you why we've already got drs now so we wait we wait we wait we can't actually use it from here on out but i'm not going to i'm going to wait till we're around entry and now we use it drs and the sip stream now should be enough to get us past going to brooklyn's dive to the inside break as late as i think i can but no not quite guy in front manages to keep it there i just can't quite not quite got that uh, confidence in the brakes yet i'm just inside the 21 right on the curb he's oh, i couldn't accelerate there i was sort of boxed to the inside i had no room to accelerate out to 21 there good defending by him after a cops even with the run though nothing i can do about it i gotta wait down the fourth again because of this dirt yeah i'm so deep into it now no choice but to downshift and just wait for max and beckett's guy in front is just slow it seems at the moment maybe he's damaged or something see behind the ai vying for position they're getting impatient as well oh i get on the front well, as soon as i can catch a massive slide coming out of chapel don't know how we managed to keep that so bumpy through there it's so hard to get on the throttle and now look the 11 car is right up on my rear spoiler if i back it into into stow guy in front so slow through there then i go one click forward on the brake bias just because don't like backing it into corners that much in these cars I'd rather lock up a little bit to be honest i'm trying to get on the front wheel as soon as i can there's nowhere to get past at the moment again abby's going to be a bit annoying because i have to wait because of a dirty air there it is look at that big lift and still going wide what about into t3 no again even with that uh, adjustment to the the brake bias there i'm not feeling confidence enough to just Wang went up the inside. We'll get out of there though. This should be it. The RS open nice and early. Going to just try and get past in a straight line. Not even give him a chance to come back. He comes across as I pull across the circuit. That would be a penalty in real life. Not quite sure what AI was thinking there. That's what you call a reactionary move. Very frustrating to be on the other end of. Come on, get out of the way. We're being held up massively here. Nothing we can do though. Just sprint racing after all this sort of thing happens. Past the old pits again, again through cops. Nothing I can do here. This gear managing not to go down to fourth this time, so the tyres are starting to come up to temperature properly. Tightening my wheel again, they do this in real life, I promise. Max and Beckett. Oh, guy behind has a look. See that now he's getting a little bit impatient as well, so this is putting me under pressure. I need to get past this guy as soon as I can. This is to get into the top 10 as well, so it's sort of an important position to take. Got to find a place where I'm faster. Maybe if I get a good run through Stowe, we can do something going to Vale. Third gear, go through there, come on, nice. Just mash the throttle there, but not, still not close enough. To the outside there, and again, not quite, nothing I can really do here apart from just wait. Go in front, gets a little bit twisty through there. Come on, go, 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 speed, speed, speed. You can do it, go. But now we're catching the guys in front as well. I have no idea how this 21 is managing to catch the guys in front when I'm so glued to his rear wing. Dogs in the background cheering me on. Second gear, come on, touch that curb a little bit. Not quite, that's good. Gonna go for the, the move. Just wang it up the inside, just smash the throttle there. He has no choice but to let me through. There you go, nice. Up to P10, into the top 10. DRS open again for gear so we've got a bit of a gap now between us uh, and the guy behind and in front nice well, and easy through brooklyn so he's just a scrubber tire through there i'm just trying to, trying to work with them i want them to last this race it's only a 10 that race but you do i feel anyway get a little bit of fall off towards the end of the, uh, that sort of period of time on that four now so a little while to go just yet guys in front two by two going into cops nothing i wouldn't do that guys if i were you Guy on the inside gets slowed right up. I'm going to run it all the way around the outside. You know what? See you later, dude. You need to kill me there, so I'm going to just take that position away from you. Magnus and Beckett's. Ah, the car is so on edge through there. You would think it'd be planted because of the downfalls, but it just, it just isn't. I'm running the same stock setup as the guy in front. Gets it very wrong out of there. Very slow onto the hangar straight now. It's me and the guy directly in front of him. Free wide. Free wide. Into stone. This isn't going to end well, Jimmy. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. <laughs> he's on the inside as the ball I get smashed into the air we take positions up to p7 nice and the guy on the inside tried to come across there and had a bit of contact and got battered back but we're okay come on 
bigger now. P5, oh sorry, P7 now. As you go on to our fifth lap. This is a good run for us so far. We started 17 from the grid, so up 10 places so far. A little bit opportunistic in places, but that's how you've got to be. Easy through there. Come on now. So so easy just to understeer through there and get it wrong. And I actually have no DRS now, so maybe a bit of a sitting duck in a in a straight line, but I don't think the guy behind me is that close or close enough to do anything about it, which is good for us anyway. Bird through here, just try and clip that bottle. I don't actually touch the curb on the inside though, because that bad things happen when that when you do that. Luffield guy on the inside. Very slow, thank you very much. And the guy got on the grass a little bit there and just got off the throttle up to p6 now top six this race is looking good for us the lead is quite away in the distance so i'm not sure we do anything about that cops come on stick stick okay good not quite as much speed through there as i could have carried now the guy behind is right back on me again max and beckett's is such a thrill in this car the car is moving around all the time so bumpy through there Something you don't see as well in, in uh, when you're driving in real life. There's actually a bit of elevation change there from Cops to uh, all the way down the chapel. It's actually downhill to chapel. Doesn't really come into it too much, but uh, I thought you'd like to know. Ah, uh, again. One more click forward on the brake bias now. The rear end is starting to come a bit lighter as the fuel comes out and the tyres wear a little bit. So I'm going to just go a little bit further forward on those brakes. Oh, I nearly spun it there. So easy to do that if you're not careful. Managing still to keep our spot though. Lap six in sixth position. Is there a podium on the cards here? I wonder. Do I dare dream? Nothing I can do there into T3. AI is really hot through there. Right now on the rear, right on the rear wing. Can reach out and touch it. If I were so inclined. We have DRS as well now, get that open nice and early. Guy behind us, DRS too, in the sip screen. They come down, the Britain's going to dive to the inside. Just not making it stick, right up on the kerb, and we're through nice. And the guy behind follows me through, up to P5. Bit of a late braking manoeuvre there, but I'll take it. Smashing the front out of Luffield now. My sights are firmly set forward. Even though they are behind me, are giving me a fantastic race. Making me work for it. Through there now in sixth gear. No dirt yet to slow us down. So we have to get through there at full speed for the first time in this race. Get another Titan. They will for good luck. Could we go through Max and Beckett. This is a place you don't want it to come loose. I'll tell you that now. Nice and easy. Bumpy through there, but we're good. We're okay. Just don't quite have the speed through there than the other guys do. Just enough to sort of keep me safe, but not enough for me to actually progress up the field at all. So, oh, understeer, understeer on entry there. That was interesting. I'm actually going to go back one more on the, the brake bias there because I didn't quite get the turning I wanted. Might have been that I just got the turning wrong myself, but uh, we'll experiment with that. It's good to sort of keep your options open. And we do have the option there of adjusting the brake bias. Guy behind us now right on me. He's going to have dirt, yeah, coming through Abbey though, so that should work to our advantage. We can go flat through there. He'll have to lift. But he doesn't. He keeps it flat. How do he manage that? I can't do that. Second gear in, please. Thank you. Come on. Get in there. So many quotes here you can take out of context, but you're just waiting for that front end to bite most of the time in this. I can see the podium. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be able to get onto it, though. On lap seven now. Brooklyn's guy behind goes for a very late dive. I've got to give him a bit of room. Only a little bit, though. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Very good. Okay, so I've got to keep an eye on this guy behind. I think I mentioned it before, but AI are only on 25% uh, aggression. And you wouldn't believe that, would you? <laughs> They're really making me work for it. We're actually pretty quick through there, it feels like. I'll we'll try and keep up that speed. Easy through there. Oh, big, big scrub on the tyres there. And then very wide at Chapel. This is bad, this is bad. I'm going to take the other option here. Still lost time, so it isn't too bad. Sixth. Oh, he's got a big run on me now. He might look at the inside of Stowe. He's looking at the inside. No. 
He thinks better of it. That's good for me at least. Some are managing to keep hold of my position for now. Coming into the dying laps. Two laps to go when we cross the line. And go behind. It looks to the inside. It feels like it almost feels like I'm racing real people. That's how aggressive this AI is, and it's the right sort of aggression. It isn't the mad aggression when I just wing up the inside and don't even take you into account. Bit of space now though behind, so a bit of a breather. Only a little bit though. He'll be right back on me into the braking zone, no doubt. We'll see the AI in front just backing it into T3. I wish I could do that and be that confident. Not quite though. Still no DRS for me though, which is a shame. I'm still losing out on this straight every time. The guy behind will have DRS though. I have to keep one eye on him again coming down to Brooklyn. Let's look at the speed differential. We're starting to come in now. We might go for the inside here. I'm going to just try and get right as late as I can. Really right on the edge of the grip of the tyre there. I felt like I was going to slide to most of that corner. But just about managing to keep it pointing in a straight line. Again, using all that runoff on the exit. I'm not quite getting on the guys in front. Come on. Just need a bit more. Just a bit more. We can get there. We can get in that fight. These guys are fighting too, so the dream isn't quite over. Right at the bottom of sixth gear there. I wish I had a couple more revs. Just a gear in between fifth and sixth would be fantastic through there. The sixth has to be this way. The sip stream and DRS. Oh no, again, just... Why can't I get the car turned in there? Just The front tyres just skip across the circuit. And all that turning that I want just is not there anymore. The leader has just checked out. He's gone. The podium might still happen. One more lap over the line. Come on, focus. We can do this. Nice and easy there. Right on the back of the guy in front now. We're going to have to deal with that dirty air through Abbey. You can see the wear, though, on the rear tyres of the car in front. No, Jimmy, don't do that. That's silly. I thought about going to the inside there at Abbey, but that never, never, ever ends well. One lap to go, then. So, white flag. Can we make up any more positions? Guy in front again. Backs it in. We're going to have... DRS this time, which will bring us into contention a little bit. We haven't had DRS before. Smash the throttle there. We're right up behind. DRS open. He goes straight, straight away. He goes defensive. I'm going to go to the outside and just try and run it round. Somehow he brings it back. I have no idea how he manages that. I guess he had DRS as well from the car in front of him. Should have stayed in the system, I think. My field. Can't do anything here. No. Early third. Damn it. Lost a bit of speed there, lost a bit of ground. Podium, I think, is slipping away, but P4 might still be a possibility. Oh, we've got to be quick through cops. We've got to be quick through cops. Oh, no, the guy in front is too slow through there. I'm going to keep my foot in it, though. Oh, we lose a place. Guy in front, for no reason, is just very slow through there, and I get held up. Damn it. Frustrating when that happens. Stamping on the front out of chapel in frustration now down to P6 out of that top five I'm not going to be close enough to anything into Vale even let's have a really good run through Stowe oh damn that yellow car oh in front side by side round the outside one position back up to P5 come on give me another one give me one more no that's not going to work Jimmy it's not going to work don't lose don't lose fifth don't lose fifth ah <laughs> And we just about managed to, just about managed to secure fifth position there, across the line. Ten laps of Silverstone in the Formula Renault against AI, who would not give an inch. And we come home in fifth. Not quite the podium. You can see the wear there on the rear tyres of the car in front. I need to run to the back of him. Go to show just how much effort we were putting in around there. But guys, that was Silverstone. That was the Formula Renault. That was 10 laps of absolutely intense racing. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like, that like button. And if you've really enjoyed it, hit subscribe to be notified of future videos. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day. See you next time.